Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program, where I have been sponsored by the devs to check out the brand new free update, Rise of the Dark Fog, which changes everything by adding combat to the game. So boost a link in my description if you want to check it out yourself. But for now, let's start a new game. So if you want to play the exact map that I'm playing on, put my seed in. And then, of course, we're going to keep the enemy forces on. For the settings, you can change everything about the enemies, like the aggressiveness. Uh, probably probably don't start on Rampage for us. You, you'd, you'll probably struggle. So we'll just go for regular and we'll get into it. All right, so here we are going past our first star. Perhaps we'll be harnessing the heat from the sun later on. Uh, but for now, we're, we're heading this direction. So basically, this is set in the future. There's like, we've developed a superior AI to take the human race even further. But it needs a lot of power. So we need to build these huge Dyson spheres around around suns to harness the sun's energy and to power that AI. Uh, and I'm a space engineer in charge of constructing all the new Dyson spheres. Right, so that there, that's like, that's the enemy's base, the dark fog. Uh, so we're going to go around the opposite side of the planet and that's where we're going to start building our base. Uh, but as we get closer, they probably will attack us. Uh, but remember, because they're playing in regular, it, it could take a little while. So we should be safe for quite a long time. Anyway, so we're out of our pod. This is actually us. We're like a giant sort of mech thing. And this is what we're going to use to to sort of, well, take all the resources out of this planet. Anyway, if we hold down right click, we can recycle that pod. That gets us a load of resources, which are stored in our inventory. All right, okay, I've already I've already wasted the day just, just by exploring. But yeah, we can collect resources by right clicking on these trees. So we're getting like loads of logs and plant fuel and stuff. Uh, there's also these iron veins, yummy, yummy iron, as well as stone. And these also have silicon in as well, which is going to be useful. Uh, the red stuff up there is copper. We'll grab some copper as well. All right, and then we can come to our technology tree down here. And oh boy, look at the size of this thing. Oh my goodness. So the first technology, electromagnetism. Magnetism. Magnetism. Electromagnetism. So we can activate that. You can see we need we need 10 of these magnetic coils. They're made with two magnets and one sheet of copper. So if we head into our replicator down here, we can we can pretty much make all of these now. So the copper sheets just takes a, a bit of copper ore, takes one second. So let's start producing them. You can see they're up there. Magnets as well. We'll add a load of those. Right, so they're getting added to our inventory. And oh, look, the sun is rising. That's the good thing about the planet being like sort of so small. You don't stay you don't stay in the dark for too long. Anyway, to make more magnets, I'm going to need more iron and copper. Let's make sure we got the copper. Let's make sure we got the iron. And then we got enough resources that we can actually start making the magnetic coil. So let's produce what do we need, 10 of those. So boost, add that to the production queue. Nice, you can see that going down now. So once we got two more... We've done the research, which means we've unlocked some automatic mining. So if we come down here to the construct mode, we can grab a mining machine. We can then zoom out really far. We can really get a feel for this planet. So you can see like the area out the front. That's covering five of them. If we go that way, though, we cover all six. So let's do that. So you can see that is in, but it has no power. So if we come to the power tab, we can then get some wind turbines on the go. So since there's no resources here, let's just shove a wind turbine down. Boosh. Okay, we then got these tester towers we can build. So basically, they just, they're just like pylons. So power is made in the wind turbine. That's making us like... Well, it can make us 300 kilowatts. But at the moment, there's not much demand. There's only one factory connected to it. Uh, and this, this is now full, so it's not even working. So back in our research tree, we probably want to unlock some of this other stuff. So logistics would be a good thing because then we've got conveyor belts and you know I love conveyor belts. Uh, to make them though we need circuit boards and gears but then what do we need for gears and circuit boards? So gears we need so for gears we need iron ingots so let's add iron ingots to our queue how many 30 of them will do so then we'll do gears after that. There you go. They'll get made. And then for this, we need... Oh, it's just it's just steel and copper. Okay. Already got a load of copper. So we can probably just add them to the queue. Nice. Okay. So that should allow us to unlock more of that stuff. I think in the meantime, I'm just going to... I'm just going to try and like resource collect everything. Nice. Well, in that time, we've, we've unlocked the conveyor belts and logistics stuff. So that is good. Uh, however, look, my mech's core energy is insufficient. So we've got to come down to the mech panel... There's a lack of fuel. You can see my fuel chamber's completely empty. Uh, thankfully, I have been chopping down trees and stuff, so we can use logs as fuel. We can also use leaves as fuel. And also, there's there's coal around the planet as well. Like this over here, this is coal. So we can mine some of that to, to give us some um, even more efficient fuel. But in the meantime, let's get these other resource things on the go. So I want this... 
Up there is pretty good. Five times. Decent. Shove one opposite as well. Now, they have no power, so I've got to build a Tesla tower. Now, I don't have enough items for that, but I can just add these to my replicator queue. So if I just add, like, I don't know, eight of them, then it's it's built me all the resources I need so that I can literally just go one there and one. Will that power both of them? It might do. Oh, no, it didn't power that one. Okay, that's fine. But nice. Okay, so they're both powered up now. Oh, except they're not. They don't, they don't have enough power. So we'll make more wind turbines. Shove them down here. They can't go too close to other wind turbines. That's fine. We'll go like one there and another one there. All right, then these are making copper decent. Okay, if we unlock this, the automatic metallurgy uh, for 10 magnets and 10 circuit boards, that will allow us to automate smelting. So if we take an arc smelter and shove it, it's got to be it's got to be within range of our power grid. So I guess let's just shove it there for now. All right, so then we've made a conveyor belt that takes the, the iron ore along here into the arc smelter. Uh, so what I should probably do is get researching the basic assembler so top left you can see i need gears and stuff for that so let's just add those to our production queue all right and then that is researched which means we can plonk this down somewhere i don't know let's go let's go down there so it's still in range of the power and then for the recipes look we can build things like magnetic coils gears as well as circuit boards uh, you can also tell it to build buildings which is quite cool yeah uh, so let's just do gears for now then we can convey it out of there. And if I just grab all the all the steel that the arc's made already, I can actually I can actually build the conveyor. So that can go over to there. We then just need a saucer to say go into that. And of course, a saucer to say come out of there onto the conveyor. All right. So now we're making gears, and it's worth noting. Remember this mining machine? It's covering six veins, so it's doing like 60 a minute, so one a second. And you can see conveyor completely filled up. So what it might be worth doing, getting a few more arc smelters on the go. So if I just shove them along there like that, make sure there's sorters so they're powered. Nice. So now we're making loads of iron ingots. Then actually probably dismantle all this and build like a row of them like that. All right. And then if I just connect all these up so they're all working, then suddenly we're making triple the gears we were. However, I am out of energy, so let's just go grab some coal. Actually, why, why am I doing this manually, Matt? Automate it. Moments later. All right, so that is fully automated now. We've got loads, loads of coal in there. I can literally just click on these and like I get filled with coal, meaning I can grab that coal, shove it in my fuel. So I am definitely good for fuel. I also automated the, the copper ingots up here, so I can click on them periodically just to, just to grab all of those. Uh, something I've noticed, though, top left, dark fog planet bases. There's nearly a 50% threat, which means in the research technology tree, if we if we come down like to the bottom down here, I should probably get the old weapon systems on the go. So we need these blue cubes, which you can see they're made in the research facility. And if we come up here and unlock the electromagnetic matrix, that unlocks that. So let's get that done. We need... 10 electromagnets, 10 circuit boards. Now we're not making them automatically yet. I probably should set that up. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just let's just add 10 of those, 10 of those. Okay, so that research is happening. Uh, whilst it's going on, I will just add an assembler, probably like to either end. So one there, one over there. And then to make circuit boards, you can see we need we need iron ingots. Now these iron ingots are currently making gears, but I'm pretty sure I can probably just add like another conveyor belt. Say so come out this side and go up to there. And we can say from there, go onto the conveyor belt. So when that's built, there you go. The iron ingots are coming along this way. We can then say from that conveyor belt, go into that building. From that conveyor belt, go into that building. Okay, so now this thing is making the circuit boards. Can I just grab a conveyor like from here? Go over this direction. Then can I do a sorter from there onto here? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, that's actually, that's really cool. That's really cool. But nice. Okay, we're now making twice as many circuit boards as we were before. Decent. Uh, ah, the threat is 73%. So quickly, now we're making the blue stuff. Let's go research the weapon systems. And then how do we make these? We need magnets and circuit boards. Okay, produce as many as we can. We can make, oh, we can make like 40 straight up. All right, anyway, weapon systems are now unlocked. Actually, if I go to map mode, I can like head around the planet. And if we head down to here, this is, oh my, this is the dark fog. Okay, they've got quite some army growing there. Okay, so we need, <laughs> I miss this game being a peaceful factory maker. But yeah, in my ammo slot now, I can now add machine gun ammo. So shove that in there. And I mean, to be honest, probably, probably make some more ammo. So there's the ammo over that way. That just takes copper. 
So if I just collect all the copper from all of these, we can then produce loads of ammo, 134. And then as well as that, we got this defense thing. So we can build turrets. Now they take a load of resource. So I'm going to have to get all those resources. It's the, yes, the magnetic coils we're, we're lacking. I probably need to make some magnets like over this way. So if I get some more, more of these, I'll shove them down this side. Make sure we got sorters feeding them all. So boosh, 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 boosh. And then these guys, rather than making the iron ingots, they can make magnets. So I think I'll leave one making magnets. And then the other two, I'll try and make the electromagnetics. Oh, no, we're out of power. We're out of power. I need more wind turbines. Oh, no, the dark fog cluster is launching an assault. Right, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? All right, they're coming from that way. Okay, so I don't have any turrets yet. All right, anyway, there's the enemies. There's the enemies. Get them, get them. So if you press Z, you can, uh, you can like, choose which one you want to shoot at. Uh, otherwise, the mech will just shoot, like, the nearest one, I think. Right, okay, over this way, over this way. Take him down, take him down. Boosh. You will not destroy my base. Right, okay, phew. We defended. We did defend. It's probably worth, though, like, literally defending like this then. Because this is where they came from. Because we're literally the opposite side of the planet. They could have gone anyway. But yeah, for now, seems sensible to try and build turrets up this end. Oh, particularly, look at all the resource up here. What is that? Crude oil? Oh, boy. Anyway, next bit of research. Let's get steel smelting on the go. Because look. That means my wind turbines can be built in water. That will be useful. Oh, it's 120 research, though. That's quite a lot. We've set that for research. I should probably just say, probably say produce loads. Oh, I can't produce loads. Oh, yeah, I need the magnetic coils. Now, there's so much stuff to do in this game. Right, well, since the, the threat of being attacked again is just 1%, let's work on those coils. I, I did start tonight. All right, so if I grab conveyors from... This is going to be like utter spaghetti, by the way. I mean, if you've if you've watched any of my other videos on like factory games, you probably <laughs> you probably expected this to be honest. But yeah, we'll do conveyors over to like this way, then conveyor up from those. Then we'll shove an assembly machine there, another one there. Get sorters on the go, sorters out of these smelters as well. All right, and then as my drones just build the the last few conveyor belts, we can then select the recipe to be the magnetic coils. Oh, nice. So we're now making magnetic coils automatically. So if I just periodically grab them out of there, we can then, yeah, we can make loads of research manually. But I should probably set this up automatically as well. Now, the thing is, our conveyors are about to, they're going to cross over themselves, aren't they? So in research, is there, is there a way of building conveyors like over each other? Oh, in the upgrades tab, we have vertical construction. The thing is, that requires an energy matrix, and I definitely don't have that unlocked yet. But yeah, let's queue up the smelting purification afterwards. And then we'll just have to rejig this stuff so that we can actually use everything. Or maybe I just want that one to create circuit boards, and that can just be circuit boards. I mean, what actually happens if I try and convey a, like... Oh, I can go up a level. I can, or I can already go up a level. Just press up, and it goes up and over. Oh, decent. I'm a genius. <laughs> over here, the circuit boards... I can take them up and over like that, bring them over this way, which means down here I can build a, a matrix lab. So then I can tell this to make my research for me. Just got to make sure we got the sorters. But nice, that's now making those, which means my smelting is getting researched as well as everything else. I can then build another one next to it. And then suddenly we're researching way faster, which means it's probably time to get our turrets on the go because I have been, I've been worried about that this whole time. So these are kinetic energy weapons. So I think they just use, they'll use the copper ammo, like the bullets. So let's grab a couple of those down like that. So these need energy. So I've got to grab my, grab my tesla towers like that so back over this way where we're making copper i should probably if i grab another conveyor and let's say shove it there you can then tell this to come up and over and then back down this side and then i can literally just shove a sort of thing on there so that should get copper onto this side yep and over here an assembler to say make machine gun ammo oh no except it doesn't it doesn't take copper or it takes it takes the ingots. So sod it. We'll build an arc thing. Make the conveyor belt go over that way instead. Then yeah. Okay. Copper ingots being turned into ammo. So along here we should see the ammo. There it goes. So we can then fill that up. Ammo goes into there. And then this turret is ready to defend us. I mean I may, I may need to remove the trees so we can actually see the enemies. But yeah. Sorted. Down here I just need a sorter from there onto there. And make sure it's powered on by building another one of those. Lovely. 
All right, and then... Oh, no, then we're out of power. Thankfully, because we researched that steel, though, we can now build wind turbines in the sea. So let's just get more turbines over this way. And we can save the precious land for building more factory stuff. That's way more efficient. All right, something I noticed, these matrix labs, they don't store much of the research. So maybe worth, I do have a storage thing. It's got 30 slots. So if I were to build one of them, look, you can see they've stopped working already. The only way to get them running is to take the resource out there. So it's got like space again. But uh, let's just see if we do conveyor over to there. Do a bit of sorting. Yes, they do get stored. Okay, that's good. Oh, I've just been told I can build storage on top of each other. Oh, decent. Meaning if I do a conveyor up like that, we're now storing in like a smaller footprint. And also we've done we've done some research. We've just unlocked all of those things like graphite and the high purity silicone. Uh, oh, and we can now we can now harness the sun. 200 research points, but then we can have solar panels. And remember, we're going to need solar panels like up in space once we actually get our once we start working on our Dyson sphere. So if we zoom out to our base, you can see that's where the sun is. That's what we will be claiming. Uh, careful though, look what's next to it, a dark fog hive. But yeah, you can see, you can actually see in the top left, the, the space hives, 0% uh, threat. They, we're not even on their radar at the moment. So what I'll probably do, I'll keep expanding and stuff. And then when that gets to, to the top, once we get attacked again, I'm really intrigued to see how these turrets work, particularly as well. There's actually, there's different turrets you can get. Like there's missile defense, there's implosion cannons, there's different types of ammo as well. And remember those hives, because they're in space, you can get things like corvettes and destroyers to, to go take them down. Man, this this update is actually insane. Anyway, if I want the missile defense tower, you can see I've got to research the engine. So let's cue that to our research. And yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you when we're under attack again. Two hours later. Right, so you can see I've been very, very busy. We had to expand the power network. We we started using quite a bit of power. That is to power all of these turrets. I've literally surrounded my base in turrets. You can see we've got ammo conveyors going to all of them. They're all completely filled with ammo. So hopefully we're pretty well defended. I have got the, the missiles being researched as we speak, but... Look, 99.3% threat. So we're about to be attacked. I'm hoping my base will survive. And then I've actually come up with a plan because attack is the best form of defense. They're up here. If we turn on the resources, you can see over that way, there's some copper veins. So that would be a pretty good spot to make some ammo. And then I'm, what I'm thinking, we bring a turret up to here to try, <laughs> to try and attack them. Uh, unfortunately for now, though, look, they're heading this way. So if we head over here, do we have turrets? Yes, look, we got a line of turrets. All right, let's quickly head over to the turrets that are going to be attacked. I think it's, I think they're coming from between these two. Yeah, look, there they are. There they are. And there's my turrets. Oh my goodness, the turrets are so good. We just rinsed them. Man, we are, we are pretty strong. Right, now I'm going on, I'm going full on warfare. We're going to head up to their base. I'm going to attempt to build some turrets. And sort of slowly get the turrets closer and closer. So as I sort of aggro them, I can lead them to my turrets. And hopefully we'll be okay. But yeah, for now, I'm just walking around an entire planet. <laughs> oh, this game's so fun. Oh, right. Okay, so up there, can you see that? That's the that's the enemy base. So where's the copper? Right, here's the copper. So I want a couple of mining stations down. So we'll shove one there. We'll shove one there. They've got no power. But uh, let's let's shove a solar panel down. I think that should do us quite nicely. We rang a Tesla tower down. There you go. So these are now mining. Right, so then I've shoved the sources into the back. And oh no, because it's nighttime. The solar panel doesn't work. Oh, I forgot about that. I mean, thankfully, I did bring I did bring enough resources to get the old get the old wind turbines on the go. And then out this side, I want assemblers. I probably want one for each, to be honest. So four of those. Again, conveyor belts between them all. And then sorters coming out onto there and then from there onto there. And then I just set these up to make machine gun ammo. And then as long as they all have power, which they do now, we should be making a fat load of ammo. Which means I can convey these closer to to the hive base. Oh man, they actually look quite scary if I'm honest. And I like having these like little drones things. It's like having editors like do all the hard work for you. All you've got to do is sit there and tell them what to do and then they, they do all the hard work for you. It's beautiful. You don't even have to pay them. 
All right, so the turrets are getting built. You can see they're not going to shoot until they have power. So that's good. I didn't want them to shoot early before all the other ones are done. But yeah, for power, I think I'll just do I'll just do like wind turbines. But right. Oh, man, I'm actually quite excited about how this is going to go. Right. Wind turbine, wind turbine, wind turbine. OK, OK, we're in. We haven't aggroed them yet. Shall I? Ow, 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 ow. OK, so they very much could see me. Ah, it's their, it's their turrets. Can I like, oh, I can shoot them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, then. Eat some of this. Eat some of this. Right over left. Over on the left. All right, it's down. Oh, this is actually going really well. No. All right, let's reassemble. We, we have to use those research materials. But yeah, we'll use 12 of those. We are back. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going to stand back a bit because they're quite dangerous. I'm just telling my turrets like where to shoot. That's it. Shoot that one. That's it. That's it. All right, okay. So we, we've sort of wiped the place. There is the odd, the odd one that comes out. I don't know how I'm going to get over to the actual base, though, unless I just slowly move turrets forward. So if I dismantle that turret, because like, remember, I can send the editors in, like cannon fodder, basically. Conveyor up to there, and then shove a turret on the end. And as long as I put a Tesla tower up there so it gets powered. Oh, I got destroyed instantly. Oh, no. Every time it gets repaired. Oh, it's destroying my little drones. Right. Well, I don't think I can take that base down at all. However, you may have noticed the, the threat level is not going up anymore. So as long as my turrets are up here sort of defending the area, uh, I can probably take over the rest of the planet without having to worry about anything. And this is all this is all running on renewable energy. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to terraform your planet. And then once this planet is completely mine, I'm then going to go to another planet to take over that and then I'm going to take over the sun by surrounding it in a Dyson sphere. Anyway, for now, thanks once again to the devs for sponsoring. Remember, boost the link in my description to check out this brand new update. It completely changes the game. Definitely recommend it. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and a sacrifice turret. Bye, guys!